Hi guys, not so long ago we did the video where we showed you how to replace the brake fluid in Toyota RAV4. The link for this video will be in the description. Today we will show you how to test the brake fluid for the water content using OTC tester. Before we do it, we need to explain a few things. The brake fluid is hygroscopic. This means that it attracts moisture from the surround environment. When the brake fluid gets saturated with certain amount of water, the water in the brake lines can boil during braking process from the heat generated by the brakes, and this will produce steam. Steam is gas, and unlike a liquid, it is highly compressible. If you have enough water in the system, your braking can completely fail and you won't be able to stop the vehicle. Uh, besides that, high water content in the brake fluid can cause corrosion of the wheel cylinders and brake calipers and eventually cause a leak. This is why it is so critical to replace the brake fluid at least once every three years. Now we'll take a look at our tester. First we will take uh, the cap off and you will see two probes underneath. Probes get inserted into the brake fluid and then the device will show you the percentage of water in the brake fluid. Anything from 0 to 2% is considered to be okay, but if the water exceeds 3%, then you have to replace the fluid. Let's test our device. First we'll press the button on top of the device in the air and as you can see it shows us 0% of water content because we are currently measuring air. Uh, we'll wait till uh, the light disappears and now let's put it inside the water. Let's see what happens. Immediately device shows us over 4% of water obviously because this is pure water right now so far everything works great and uh, we are ready to put it into the brake fluid let's take the cap off and insert our device two probes go into the brake fluid you press the button and as you can see it shows 0% of water content which is great, it means we don't need to replace the brake fluid. Uh, to confirm our result, we'll just put uh, the probes inside the water again and as you can see, immediately it shows over 4%, which means that our test is accurate. Again, I want to point out that if the water content in the brake fluid goes above 3%, you need to replace the fluid immediately. Uh, I would suggest to test the brake fluid for water content uh, once per year using this tester. And uh, once every three years, you need to replace the brake fluid completely, even if you don't have the water in the brake fluid. Brake fluid does deteriorate with time. Our test is complete. Thank you guys for watching. The link for the brake fluid replacement video will be in the description. You can give us thumbs up, you can subscribe to the channel and uh, we will see you in the next video.